What's up guys and welcome to Watcher Gaming's first ever gameplay commentary. My name is Nick Nicholas or Foreign Dog and today I have a 41-4 gameplay by me for you guys. So as you can see this is kill confirmed on Hunted. Um, you're going to see me use the Man of War most of the time with ELO, um, extended mags and quick dog grip. I also use Ghost Fast hands and awareness. I will the only the only um the only score tricks I will use are care package and UAV or the R60 in there. That's that's for challenge purpose. Specials I'm using is combat focus, also for challenges. Um, so yeah, I'm all, and in this gameplay you'll see a lot. You probably won't see right now, but I'm playing with my mate um, Leon or Mufasa, who I'll introduce later again. And just so you know, I start off the game extremely defensive. You know, we Leon and me decide before the game. Let's just try and go for a nukes and see how high kill streaks we can get, or a kill feeds we can get. And uh, so that means we also don't actually take any confirms. For the beginning of the map, all we do is play and and get into positions and don't take any confirms. So we get a lot of kills. And for me, it worked out quite well. And in, it, essentially, the, whole the idea of not taking confirms is to extend the game to have a good, better chance of getting 30 kills. Um, but in the end, after you see I will die, since the game is 44 and 41 and 4, you know I die, um, we then get more aggressive and start winning the game. Um, so, before we start talking about more about the actual purpose of the commentary, which is talking about Black Ops 3, um, I'm going to introduce why I try and what we are and what we do for you. Um, so, we are a, a newly found an alliance or clan and we we play together a lot. We're friends. We're all, all of us are friends and know each other. So I'll introduce myself first. I'm Nick and Nicholas and um, or Foreign Dog, as my, you can see my PSN. And um, I, I am. Um, I'll be the person who who posts a lot of challenges. So I'm. I like to hunt for challenges. I'm gonna. I already have 87% complete in the game. So I'm looking to get 100% to to fill out um to to fill out all the the calling card um which I think is quite a challenge um. Then we have Mufasa or Leon. Uh, he he's a bit more creative. He looks to do a lot of sniping and a lot of crazy stuff. Um, I do sniper as well, but he's he's a bit more on the crazy side, and he'll do a lot of feeds, kill feeds, and all that kind of stuff. Um, then we have Niels six one nine or just Niels, and uh, he he is the one who, he's the only one of us who already has a nuke, so he will give you a lot of he'll provide a lot of long street gameplays, a lot of skillful. Um, Spots and all these things are used. So he, from him, you can learn a lot. Um, and the fourth person who is going to be very active in our Wide Track Gaming channel is I don't see you, Lan or Paul. Right now he's on holiday, but he'll come back soon. And he he is a bit more crazy as well. So he'll like to show a lot of sort of crazy kills and all these kind of things. So he's he's a, he's a very fun and entertaining person. Um, we also have three other players in our in our clan, which are um, Sorek five five five, which is Andreas. Um, uh, Red Nalu or Joel and Anidimex or Andy and together we form the competitive team of y Tri Gaming so you'll see mainly Niels, Leon, me and Paul be play for the um, for the um, clan wars and other, or the game battles or MLG and that kind of stuff but if one of us are not there we have Andreas, and uh, Andy and Joel who will also be very much playing the game um, so overall our team plays together now since Advanced Warfare. I knew a lot of, I know we know each other for a long while, so so we've been playing together here and there before. But we've only been playing strictly together since Advanced Warfare, and we'll be competing in the MLG EU ladder, MLG tournaments, and this, the, the Call of Duty World League. So you'll see us play there quite a bit. And um, so I will, and if we can, we'll of course upload a lot of live streams, all these kind of things from from games that we play against other clans if they allow us to. Um, so in this in this uh, commentary, I want to talk about Black Ops Three and how we, as an alliance, as a team, moved into Black Ops Three. So I started playing um, Modern Warfare Two with Leon, and uh, back then, you know, we were we were noobs. We weren't good. You know, we were zero point three KB. You know, just trying our best to use the game, and then of course having a lot of fun, quick scoping, all these kind of things. And we really enjoyed the game. Um, probably one of the better games they've ever made in the sense of Call of Duty, and um, it really led us into a great movement. In the sense that we got, we started off shit, but we kind of moved up forward, and now we're quite good players. And the next game for me is the third, my third, my favorite, my favorite one of all of them is Black Ops One. I really, really 
just owned that game. I felt so good and I felt really confident. I played really well. I had 1.8 KD running around. I got got into a clan, but then I kind of left because I thought it wasn't it wasn't for me, you know. And it was it was really good for me. I just loved the game. The balance, the three phase, the three way system was in was introduced, and all these things just feel feel very good. And I'll compare Black Ops One later to Black Ops Three. Um, in Modern Warfare Two, the one uh, Modern Warfare Three, the one afterwards. I started playing, and I know Leon loved the game, but I kind of lost interest in the game because it felt because I got because I liked the whole structure of Black Ops so much. Black Ops, I kind of lost interest in Modern Warfare in the sense, and I kind of stopped playing because it just didn't feel didn't feel as balanced for me. Um, and also, it was a time when I got into my last two years of my degree, so I decided to buckle down and actually focus on my school, <laughs> which was in the, end, uh, in the end the right decision. Um, that, oh, I also did not play um, Black Ops 2 because for that reason. That was the final year, and I really, really focused on school. Um, and then I moved to England for, to go to university, and since then I've been playing. I started playing again. I played Ghosts with a friend, and it it just didn't feel good the game. I didn't like it at all, and it felt felt shit and felt quick and felt melty and felt unfair and it just didn't just didn't interest it didn't work my interest again to the to gaming that much um and then we went into advanced warfare and that's why i decided okay let's give it a shot i'm gonna call everybody all my friends again and see if they want to join me and it turns out a lot of our, my friends are back so leon paul we're all back playing advanced warfare together we got used to each other we made new friends or friends we already knew and they kind of lost contact but we're now back in touch because of gaming and it it really felt good. Now that's how we kind of formed our Wildtra Gaming Alliance. Um, so, Advanced Warfare for us, it was a, it was a it was a okay game. It was it was fun because we played together. Um, I feel I feel the whole jumping and stuff was just too overpowered. It just didn't feel it just didn't feel fair. It was too hectic the game, and yeah, instead of looking left right, you have to look left right up down. It just felt like it wasn't a, a real Call of Duty anymore. And um, Although we didn't really like it that much, we did play a lot because we played together. As well. Playing with friends is always fun, mucking about, quizcoping, search and destroy, jokes, and that kind of stuff, you know, shielding, all these kind of funny things. So we did we did play a lot, and that's when we started really pushing back together to be to be a team. And then came out Black Ops 3, and we had high hopes, you know, we had, oh, let's hope they move away from all this flying and jumping, and we... We were a bit unhappy when we heard about the boosting, but the boosting turns out it's not as OP in any way as Advanced Warfare. So the boosting now is much more tactical. It's useful and you can probably outplay people and you still have to get used to looking up and down and everywhere now. But it is an actual skill now. In Advanced Warfare you could just jump around, jump around and you know you get a lucky hunch and you, you fly around because you're so happy we don't even see you. And in, in Black Ops 3 it isn't like that. It is jumpy and it is... It is overpowered if you jump around and if you're good it's very very skillful and very easy to kill people but it just feels much more game friendly the balance is there and we really and as a team and speaking for myself i'm speaking for wild track gaming we really enjoy the game and for me also one of the biggest fears was that um they incorporate a specialist from similar sense from destiny and i was thinking oh god noob's gonna get some crazy gun they're gonna kill us all easily and it was not skillful, but it turns out the balance is also very good. So Black Ops is very known to make a good balance in guns. So the guns in this game are also very much balanced, but the specialists feel very balanced as well. So every time, especially someone like you just see them when you get killed by a purifier, um, it is OP in a sense, but it is also not that easy to use. So there are ones that are easy and ones that are kind of OP, like purifier is kind of OP because you have no chance when he shoots at you, even if you kill him. But it is not a instant 10 kill streak killing everybody easily it is it is very skillful to use so that's that's what i really enjoyed about so they got rid of flying around which i'm very happy they introduced specialists which are very much fun as well when you got the sparrow and stuff you can actually you can actually have a lot of fun gaming now as well it's not just the serious try hard it's also having the fun making montage clips which we'll be making soon as well funny clips and all these kind of things so but overall, I feel that they they made a really good job in Black Ops 3, and the balance overall makes the game entertaining, fun, and very skill based. And it is it is in a sense something that I've always I've always liked about Black Ops is that it is not an easy game to play, but it's more tactical. It's about team positioning. It's about outplaying and outthinking your opponent again, not just out jumping him. It's about like coming around the corner. Feeling him, feeling the presence, knowing the opponent is there, and making use of 
the movement abilities that you have and I feel you'll see in our videos that our team is quite clear that and when I were trying to learn to be good at plan wars. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, finished now it was a 41 and 4 on hunted and I hope you guys follow us subscribe and I hope you enjoy our videos see you guys around